Hey, I'm Chip Foose, we're here at Foose Design, and today I wanna to talk about a vehicle that has touched everyone's life, the LLV, or as we know it, the US Mail Truck. If you know the name Grumman at all, you probably know it for making things like fighter jets and lunar modules that put men on the moon. But the company is also responsible for one of the most common sites on American roads, the LLV which stands for Long Life Vehicle. You know, if we're gonna talk about the design of the mail truck, really there was absolutely nothing that was aesthetic about this. It was purely a form follows function. These vehicles needed to be loaded with mail, survive and deliver. To think about it, they were built from 87 to 94. There's over 140,000 of these vehicles on the road every day. That's a workhorse. And if I were gonna build one, I wouldn't keep it as a workhorse. If the mail needs to get delivered quick, let's see what we can do about making this even quicker. All right, I've got a first line drawing, but I've drawn it so close to the edge because I pulled the nose out instead of being real blunt. I'm gonna pull it back a little bit and redraw this. Maybe I'll go to a larger piece of paper. Now what I'm drawing doesn't necessarily uh, merit going out and finding a U.S. mail truck, but if you were to go out and look for one, I think at a government auction you can get these for around $5,000. What I'm doing is basically building it from scratch because that original 82 S10 Blazer chassis wouldn't be able to handle the horsepower that I'm putting behind this thing. Uh, this is so we can get the mail there before it was ever mailed, I think. <laughs> but uh, this would be a complete one-off chassis, one-off body, but it's going to resemble a Grumman mail truck. So I've got the drawing done and now I'm going to throw a little marker on this and uh, give you an idea what a Foose Design mail truck might look like. When I'm finished, I want this to still look like an LLV mail truck, but the inspiration is pure NHRA. National Hot Rod Association. So somebody like John Force would be delivering your mail.
All right. Well, the mail has to get delivered. Grumman, this could be the new one. Well, as you can see, the Grumman LLV, the long life vehicle, is done for short runs. This vehicle wouldn't run around all day. This vehicle would just go a quarter mile as fast as it can. The mail's got to get there quick, so, you know, change the graphics, change the body, change the chassis, change the wheels, change the engine, change the windows, uh, change, of course, the transmission, the wheels, the tires, wheelie bars in the back. There's also a parachute on the back. Can't see it from this angle, but this we didn't use. We just built a completely brand new truck, but if I were gonna build a truck, I'd wanna do something that was, uh, you know, a mail truck. I'd wanna do something that was pretty wild and could get the mail there quick. Uh, if I were giving any thought to the power plant, um, you know, it's gonna be the biggest motor that we can possibly get. So my, shall we say, inspiration is gonna be go visit somebody like John Force, who could be the new mailman, see what he's doing with his funny cars and put all that technology into the LLV. Now the original LLV was a, was a right-hand drive vehicle. This is gonna be a center drive vehicle, just like a funny car. You gotta aim yourself down the track. So do it from the center instead of one side or the other. Now if we look at design changes from the LLV to here, of course I've angled the front nose and all of that would be graphics. There wouldn't actually be holes there, but I've angled it for aerodynamics. It's got a much smoother profile than the original. Uh, it's got a little scoop to keep that air from going underneath the vehicle. I've got the large exhaust because we've got a very large motor. I'm sneaking that around the front wheel and pulling it right out the front. Of course, it'd be really cool if there was still a sliding door. Otherwise, the body's going to lift up. Now, the graphics, I looked at the Eagle and it had that very abrupt neckline. I went ahead and put a scallop there and made the graphics look much faster, angled it a little more, and then tapered them as they were going back. So it's got, you know, the same shape as the body. This was square, it works with it. If we're gonna wedge cut it, then let's wedge cut the graphics as well. And then we've got the wheelie bars in the back. And of course, if you were to peek around the corner, you're gonna see a parachute there. So we're not relying just on brakes, but also air to stop this thing. Hey everyone, thank you for watching this episode on Haggerty. And I hope you enjoy what I did with this vehicle, a vehicle that we see every day, but I hope that we never see it the same way again. And thank you Pep Boys for being our sponsor and for helping car lovers go further since 1921.